Hello brothers and sisters in Christ. I want to give all praises to Jesus Christ, the our Savior and the author and finisher of our faith. Uh, I wanted to tell you that last night I had a dream that was confirmation that I do think the RFID microchip implant is 100% the mark of the beast and if you take it the unmitigated wrath of God will be poured out upon you without mixture and the smoke of your torment will ascend up before God and the holy angels read Revelation because we are now about to enter those times and it's not gonna be pretty and the dream I had was me, my dead papa, my father who has passed away, my grandmother who's still alive, and my brother, we had went to church, and I had kept urging my father to go go to the altar when they had an altar call, and kept telling him, get saved, daddy, get saved, and... In the dream, he did listen to me, and, and, he, and he said, I'm saved, and he was happy. And uh, after, after church, it came to a scene where uh, we and a big crowd of people were in line, and we were going up to this stand where there was a nurse who was administering the RFID microchip implant, Mark of the Beast. And I kept telling my papa, my Grammy, my family not to take it because it's the mark of the beast and the once you took it the lady would give you like a, a, a free umbrella and i i had said to her something like you're not going to need an umbrella down there you're going to need a lawn chair to with in in that heat burning in hell and she got angry with me and then I had woken up. I do believe that this RFID microchip implant that people are already taking in Wisconsin, in Sweden, in clubs in the Netherlands, they're taking it to gain entry. Uh, you can see a video online. It's called The Man Who Created the RFID Microchip Implant Mark of the Beast and God Spoke to Him. He, he is one of the engineers of the microchip Mark of the Beast and he breaks it down that in the Greek it means charagma, which means scratch, etching. So the mark is going to go in you, like it says in the King James Version of the Bible. It will be in your right hand or in your forehead. And it's in Revelation 13, verses 15 through 17, I believe, talking about the mark of the beast. So this is a warning to the church and to anybody else who's watching this. If you are not saved, now seek the Lord Jesus Christ while he may be found. And ask him into your heart, into your life, to be Lord of your life, to cleanse your sins. Repent of your sins and believe the gospel. Because Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by Him. And He deserves all the praise, all the glory, because He is the creator of the heavens and the earth. He is Almighty God, the great I Am. Praise you, Jesus Christ. I praise you, Lord. Have mercy upon this nation. Have mercy upon your people, Lord. Uh, I ask everybody in the church to, to please just... To ask him for power to turn from your sins and walk in the power that he has given us to trample on serpents and scorpions and to to disdain evil and to to cleave what is good cleave to what is good and walk close to him because we are in the, in the end times uh, they're about to sign the seven year peace treaty in Israel which will trigger the last seven years of the apocalypse and one third of mankind is going to die, as it says in Revelation. The four horsemen of the apocalypse are about to gallop, everybody. Wake up, church. Wake up. Wake up, people. I try and share the word and the love of God with people, and they bite and devour me and, and call me stupid and crazy. I'm growing weary, but I know the Lord is with me. I love you guys. And just look up for our redemption draweth nigh.
God bless you. Praise Jesus.